Hi, my name is Jason Lanier. I wanted to share my, a message today just on how I got started in the industry. Um, for the better end of a decade, I was a hotelier working from at, as a front desk manager, front office manager, all the way up to GM. And then uh, for Starwood Hotels and Marriott and such, I worked um, on the executive level um, and flying all over the place doing fun stuff. It was an amazing job. While working in the hotel industry, I was sitting down at a Christmas dinner. My sister-in-law said, hey, Jason, you're going to shoot my friend's wedding. I said, I don't know what you're talking about. Well, apparently my wife had volunteered me to do it, and I had no idea that I was going to do it. I had never done a wedding, and it was very uh, intimidating to do so. One thing that I'm grateful for is the fact that I kind of have a there's nothing I can't do spirit about me, and so I, I met with the family, and uh, after meeting with the family, um, they decided to, to go with me, which I kind of thought was crazy for them because... It wasn't like it was a cheap budget wedding. They just saw some of my landscape work, which wasn't nearly as good as it is today, and decided to go with me. And so I'm grateful for them for having faith in me. We ended up shooting the wedding. It turned out really well. Um, and I, 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 to this day, when I even tell the story, it's kind of funny because I'm surprised that I did it. So I shot that first wedding in March of 2007. Then went through, and while still working in the hotel industry, um, I would... I worked in San Diego and I had an office right next to the airport and I would do my work and on a Friday I would hop on a plane, take off, go work and then be, be home to come back to work on Monday. And I ended up doing 20 or 30 weddings that year just through finding leads on websites and doing all sorts of other different stuff just, just hungry to, to build a portfolio. That first year I did whatever it took to, to build a portfolio, it didn't matter what it was. I was very selective on making sure that it, I focused on good venues. Okay guys, good venues, good brides, and good wedding dresses. You have those three things, you can make it look amazing. I went and shot all those things, and uh, by the end of that year I had a really pretty decent portfolio. Um, I want to make it abundantly clear. The pictures that you see today that I shoot are much better than the ones I shot four years ago. I mean, if, if you're looking at your photography, it, if it hasn't improved, you're not doing something right. You should see progression in your images. You should see improvement. So anyway, I, I did that, went through that first year, and then after that, I quit hotels. I quit. People told me I was crazy. I was leaving stock options. I was leaving um, great 401k. I was leaving, you know, all the stuff that I built up over a decade working in the hotel industry. And I said, that's okay. I can... I, I'm pretty confident as to what I can do. And I even had one person say, you're going to shoot weddings? Um, we hire those people. Those people are not on our level. And uh, he said, you know, maybe I'll give you a call someday. And uh, I said, you know what, just don't bother, don't give me a call. Because you won't be able to afford me. So, the bottom line is, um, that was my first um, experience with a hater. But I ended up shooting weddings. To, uh, through 2007, shot maybe 20 weddings. 2008, 2009, shot a lot more. 2010, I kind of went back and retooled things and uh, went and looked at building um, different parts of my portfolio, most importantly, my, my landscape photography, because that's really a passion of mine. But throughout this experience, I've had tons of people who have been very supportive, and I've had a lot of people who haven't. Um, some people who can always find something wrong in your work. I want to make it abundantly clear. Constructive criticism is fantastic. People giving you and saying, hey, you know what, your picture isn't good and here's why, but, but if they're trying to help me, I accept that. I love that. That constructive criticism makes me better. But it's the people who want to take it a step further and just say things that are derogatory. Those are the people that I don't have any patience for. I hope that uh, you never give up. You never surrender your dream because remember, when you give up, the only person that loses is you. That is so true. When you give up, every person who has ever wanted you to fail has succeeded. Don't ever let them have that satisfaction. Until next time, keep shooting, keep getting better, and never, ever give up on your dreams. Take care.